Welcome to Thursday. It's the 23rd day of May 2024. This day with a podcast brought to you by Wyoming State Parks with temperatures slowly warming. Wyoming State Parks and historic sites are gearing up with a season of fun and educational summer events. Visit these parks respective Facebook pages for more information. It's another day and it's another Pacific cold front coming across the region. It's very easily seen as you'll see in a moment. Here on the satellite imagery, the Pacific continues this to push these systems out and they keep going over the same places. It'll certainly be the case again today. Heads up, I'm afraid to say we'll have about 24 hours of some pretty gusty winds over a large part of this region. Now, they're not going to last more than today. They'll ease, but a nuisance wind certainly coming for many of you. There's going to be the usual pattern of showers and thunderstorms and some high country snow underneath and just to the northern areas of the track of this low. So that will be up north again. So Montana, northern and western Wyoming, into the Dakotas, you're looking at the best chance of getting consistent and most widespread rain. Now, on the southern tail of this system, later this afternoon and evening, there will be a few thunderstorms. Not a lot of them, but a few over portions of southeastern Wyoming, western Nebraska, and eastern Colorado. Not a lot, but a few, so they could pop up. Now, the Memorial Day weekend forecast is starting to get a little bit more clear. We're confident in Saturday and Monday's forecast. Sunday is still a big bugaboo, and it's for the same reasons we showed you yesterday. Hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to nail down Sunday, but there's just enough of a question mark on Sunday's forecast. It could really have a big bearing on what the weather's like for Sunday, especially for outdoor activities. Nice warming trends coming next week. Next week and beyond, I think we're basically starting ourselves into an early summer pattern. There'll still be ups and downs, but we're getting there, folks. And next week, you're really gonna see those warmer temperatures. In fact, on Monday, you're gonna see those temperatures really warm up. Well, where's the front? Pretty easy to find it this morning. You can see the low pressure, the frontal boundary right here in the upper level low, swirling over far eastern areas of Idaho. The system is gonna take the track that they've been taking, just kind of like this, then up into the Northern Plains states. So this will likely tomorrow and later on cause more severe weather in the upper Midwest. While as it comes through here, we're gonna see the showers and thunderstorms and the wind come on through. So here it is, coming through later today, moving fairly quickly. This is where you get wind on the southern end of the low and the precipitation on the north side. This is where we're gonna be with moisture today and tomorrow. So the heaviest, most consistent moisture goes right across southern Montana, far northern Wyoming, and then up into North Dakota. That's where the most consistent moisture is going to be. Scattered areas of showers and thunderstorms will break out this afternoon and evening here. Now, it doesn't look like a lot on the modeling here, but there will be some pockets of heavier showers and thunderstorms along that boundary. So that'll be something to kind of keep an eye on. But we're also looking at wind. These are the wind gusts between now and tomorrow. So the I-25 and I-80 corridor areas in Wyoming, the Northeast Plains, up around the Black Hills, you can see the Dakotas and Southeastern Montana, but also Eastern Colorado, Western Kansas, down in the Panhandles. Now these are not terribly awful winds by our standards, but they're gonna be strong and they're gonna be gusty nonetheless. This is for Saturday. It just keeps reloading this pattern. So the Saturday morning, low pressure system is quite similar to where we're going to be today. But this system is actually gonna maybe take a little bit more of a curve south. So that's gonna bring the chances of rain a little bit further south. So as we enter the three day weekend, we have another system. There's a gap Friday. Friday is a gap day, kind of like what we had yesterday. Then we have this next system Saturday. This is likely gonna produce showers and thunderstorms and they're gonna develop a little bit further south and east than the last couple of these systems. Temperature wise, Saturday, not bad. A lot of 50s and 60s over the higher elevations, 60s out onto the plains with some lower 70s. The real heat down in Texas, eastern New Mexico, getting into southeast Colorado here. Some heat building up along and south of I-70. More moderate temperatures north of I-70 and across even into the Great Basin states. Temperatures really not all that terribly warm Saturday. 
Those, that's how Saturday looks. This is what Saturday looks like with the chance of showers and thunderstorms. Looks similar to the map we showed you yesterday. All across the region, there's going to be scattered showers and thunderstorms, and they could be around as early as Saturday morning in some locations. So Saturday's a day you want to plan on at least the chance for some scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. Stronger thunderstorm activity here across the Southern Plains, more garden variety showers and thunderstorms back here during the day Saturday. And this is what the moisture pattern looks like for Saturday into Sunday morning. You can see there's a little tail here of some heavier moisture, a little bit more in the way of consistent showers and thunderstorms over East Central Utah in the Northwest Colorado and the I-80 corridor, Wyoming. And some of these will get out into the Front Range areas during the day on Saturday. So that low tracking a little bit more to the south. So Saturday, be prepared for these showers and thunderstorms with moderate temperatures. This is what it looks like for the snowfall forecast for your day on the 48 hour period of Saturday and the Sunday. Snow levels are going to be up pretty high, but nonetheless, some of those higher peaks could get a little bit of snow Saturday. Then. Here we go again with the enigma of Sunday. So I'm gonna do what I did yesterday, step you through the different scenarios. This is the European model. It has more of a diffuse low pattern. It's kind of got the center of the low over Eastern areas in North Dakota there, but there's a little bit of, there's a little ripple here. There's another little ripple here. There's, it's kind of a fragmented pattern of upper level areas of low pressure. And again, this is what it showed yesterday. Things are gonna be more to the North and East on Sunday if this solution ends up being okay, which means this area here can end up with a pretty nice Sunday. Up here, the weather will be more unsettled, cooler, and damp. That's the European model. This is what the European model shows for high temperatures on Sunday. Not bad, a little bit cooler than Saturday, but not bad. This is what the precipitation looks like for Sunday. Again, staying more up into Southern Canada, the Dakotas, Northern and Northeastern Wyoming getting clipped with some showers and thunderstorms, but the rest of Wyoming, Colorado, back into Utah, the weather looks fair. This is what the GFS model looks like. Notice a big difference. Again, we've got a big difference, and we're getting pretty close here in terms of the time frame, but there's a big discrepancy. This is kind of like what we saw yesterday. This would bring the rain chances and the cooler weather much further west and south for Sunday. Look at the temperature difference. There's a good 10 degree difference in temperatures Sunday between the two different solutions. Quite a bit of difference. Not terribly cold, but Sunday kind of cool and unsettled. And this is what the precipitation forecast looks like on the GFS model, a lot further west and a lot further south. This is why I'm very reluctant to buy into this much nicer solution here. So we still have this. Now we talked about AI. What does the AI model look like? Well, let's take a look. Here's the AI model. Well, it's somewhat similar. The, again, this is the European model. The European deterministic model has the low here, but it's got a stronger low back here, which is kind of a hybrid between this model here and the first one we showed you right here. I will tell you that a lot of times what ends up happening in reality are these hybrid solutions where not one model gets it absolutely correct, but kind of if you mix the models in a pot and stir it, sometimes you get a solution that ends up being closer to reality. So perhaps the AI solution is recognizing that this solution isn't correct, neither is this one, maybe a combination of the two, and we may end up seeing the system here. So the end result, is, is that uh, the AI solution is cooler than the European solution and the GFS solution and the AI solution are closer together. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. So Sunday is the day I'm not so sure of, obviously. This is the precipitation forecast on the AI model. So Northern Wyoming, Northeastern Wyoming, the mountain areas could still get into some showers. Now where things get a little bit more clear is Monday. Look at these temperatures on Monday. By Monday, all the models have the low headed off this way and moving away, high pressure building in, and Memorial Day Monday looks to be warming up. The chances of rain drop, and it looks like a really fine Memorial Day coming on up 
very comfortable temperatures and conditions. And that leads into Tuesday of next week. Nice broad area of high pressure moves in. And this is the warm up that I talked about coming for next week. Will these lows keep coming or will this high here block them and allow us to get more into an early summer pattern? I think the high will probably win out next week and beyond, but there will be some fronts still trying to sneak through, but not of the magnitude that we've seen this week in the, pre the previous weeks up till now. Have a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a better idea on what that Sunday will be like.